Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 8, Lesson 8, Describing Distributions on Histograms. The objective says, I can describe the shape and features of a histogram and explain what they mean in the context of the data. So when we're looking at the shape and the features, we're describing the distribution of the data, and we have three features that we can look at when we're, we're considering the overall distribution of the data. We can look at symmetry and center and spread. The histogram summarizes the data on the body lengths of 143 wild bears. Write a few sentences describing the distribution of body lengths. So let's look first at the symmetry of this data. So symmetry is when we imagine folding the data in half. So finding that center, and if we were to fold it on itself, does it match up? Is it pretty similar in shape on both sides? I would say yes. It's not exactly the same, but overall the general shape of the data is the same to the left and to the right. So I would say that it is symmetrical. Again, with the center, we're looking at that balance point, and it helped to consider the symmetry first because we established what that center of the data might be. So I'm going to go ahead and put that um, little fulcrum, that little triangle, at that center mark so that we can see, again, where the center or the balance point is for that data. The data is centered around 60, somewhere or maybe a little bit above 60. So the typical length for the bears is about 60 inches long. And then last, we have spread. Again, spread is how far apart or how close together the data is. And we measure that with a distance. We look at that minimum and we look at that maximum and we look at how far apart they are. So I marked that length right there and we can see that the spread is actually quite big. Our minimum is 35 and our maximum is 85. That's a difference of 50 inches. 50 inches, that's over four feet between the shortest bear and the tallest bear. So that spread is pretty wide. There's a difference of about 50 inches between the shortest and the longest bear, so there is a lot of variability in this data. Again, our objective said, I can describe the shape and features of a histogram and explain what they mean in the context of data. So the symmetry tells us if the data looks pretty much the same to the left and to the right of that center point, and the spread tells us how alike the data is the more spread out it is, the less alike the data is in this case, the less alike the heights of these bears are. Thanks for watching.